Hi there. Today I'm painting these boots. They were um, a nice brown fringe boot. We're going to paint them hot pink. I started and I wanted to get this on here. Um, I'm getting the basic coat down and I'm just kind of uh, painting the boot carefully. I've got them sitting on that guy. Thermal cup and uh, using that as a pedestal to kind of give me a work surface so that I can keep the fringe out of the way because I don't want to paint the fringe yet, especially the bottom of it. I'm um, just basically a leather paint here running over the surface of the boot and a couple different brushes I'm using, kind of smaller ones because I don't want to get too much, uh, you know, I don't want slop because um, I want these to look good. I'm thinking, kind of like based on what I'm seeing so far, this is the first coat on this boot, and I did half of it already, so I might end up doing an undercoat again and then doing it again. I mean, it looks okay, but I think I can get it even better with an undercoat of white, but uh, it, it does look pretty pretty hot pink right now, you know, especially where it's wet. Um, just kind of working my way around, uh, spinning it as necessary and applying paint. It's real simple. It's like anything else. Of course you want it smooth. I don't want big, you know, ridges of dry paint. So I'm trying to, you know, lay it down as evenly as possible across the boot and, uh, you know, get enough paint on there to get even coverage. You know, that's a big thing, I guess, with paint is even coverage. It's easy to have high spots and low spots. You just got to be careful and watch what you're doing there. So this is just kind of a basic first time through on this boot, and it's going to be a little sloppy. I'm going to get more, uh, I guess, picky as I go and uh, take it a little further as far as refinements and whatnot, being real careful to, you know, like I said, keep everything even and clean. Uh, kind of a fun project, interesting to do. These boots should be really killer when I'm done. Uh, we got a couple ideas for what we're going to do with the fringe and everything, and we'll go through that in a subsequent video. Um, but this is pretty interesting. Kind of a first for me, uh, painting a boot like this. Um, I painted other things, of course, but never, uh, never a boot. Yep, you know, it's kind of moving around. We've got the back there. The back could use some more. You can see the where it's not quite there. And I've been kind of like going back uh, as it dries and making sure I get plenty of coverage on the, the areas that don't have quite, as not, quite enough paint, you know. I masked off the, uh, masked the sole off with just some painter's tape, you know. And that kind of protects that from any, you know, paint, unwanted paint on the sole. Oops, got a little on the fringe there. Don't want that, that off. There you go. Okay. Yep, I'm going to hit this heel again because it's pretty, pretty much in need of a little more paint. Let that dry a bit and hit it again. Some of the surfaces, because of the way leather is, you know, leather is an organic material, some of these surfaces uh, take paint differently, and you want to kind of watch, watch what you're doing, because they'll, uh, some areas will just, like, take it all, suck it right up, and others will just, uh, they won't want to take it for whatever reason, so you just got to keep going until you get there, you know. Working my way around, one bit at a time, getting the seams nice, making sure I got coverage there. I did, I did the other boot out of the box already, one coat, and I want to do this one too to see kind of where I'm at on everything. Um, Make sure I've got, you know, good looking coverage and everything and, and then go from there. Painting's one of those things, you know, it just takes time and, you know, be patient. Don't rush it. You don't try to blast through it, you know. 
You just got to kind of watch what you're doing. You know. Because if you, if you try to rush it, then you're going to regret it, you know. Because then you're going to make mistakes. Readjust the boot for a better angle to paint with. Uh, like this, yeah. Kind of hold the heel if I have to. These boots are by uh, Lane. They're Junk Gypsies. Um, and they do a pink boot. But nothing this uh, intense, you know. It's more of a subdued pink, not not a fluorescent like 1980s, you know, hot pink, you know, bubblegum crazy, you know, pink. It's uh, more more subdued, more class, you know. I guess more classy is not what I mean to say. I mean just more, uh, eh, for lack of a better word, more pedestrian I guess you know wanted something uh, a little hotter a little crazier for this so we kind of went uh, went all out on the paint got some super hot pink fluorescent paint because why not you know if we're gonna do it do it I'm coming around to the front of the boot now watching what I'm doing there's the stitching and everything to be aware of. I want to make sure I get plenty of coverage down in there because, you know, if it's just sitting on the upper surfaces and not down in the stitching, it might look kind of cheesy. So I'm going to make sure I kind of get all the lines of the boot that exist properly covered and even so it looks as professional as I can make it look, you know. Connecting the dots. Here we're getting back around to where we started this today. And there's a lot of paint on this brush right now. I might have to rinse it off. Because then you get into trouble with just barely touching something and covering it in paint. See that? Yeah, I want to rinse that off. I'll be back in just a sec. There we go. Uh, want to keep a paper towel handy sometimes uh, just to make sure there's no water on the brush and it's as dry as possible you know you go in there with the brush is wet it's gonna transfer paint you know get that paint wet and that paint's gonna want to go everywhere you know like running water and the, the uh, consistency of the paint gives you some control if it's if it's a too watery you're not gonna have any control where that paint ends up at it's just gonna run away from you so I uh, keep my uh, brush as dry as possible even if I have to rinse it off like I just did you know because that's going to keep keep things uh going on nicely for me as opposed to uh not yeah, just working away here just trying to get this first coat done that's a lot of paint take some of that off there we go getting the toe some of these parts are you know, a little more finicky you know the toes and whatnot I've seen boots come in with uh, weird looking toes and all kinds of stuff and you don't want to exacerbate anything like that if it's there these these particular boots look really nice so um, I'm just trying to make it look professional and like the boots came out of the factory like this now they're not going to look that way yet like I said I'm probably going to end up doing a, an undercoat based on what I'm seeing with the, the brown but I'm going to do another coat of pink once this this one dries um, and go from there you can see the I'm sure you can see the brown under the uh, the pink in this case and that's that's my indicator that I'm going to need a, an underlay I just want to get something on here so when I'm done it's going to be pretty um, pretty well painted, you know, thinking about an undercoat of pink already and then doing another undercoat of white and then one more pink coat over the top. It should look pretty uniform, pretty good, but we will see in the next couple of videos what happens, you know, Getting some coverage here going over areas I've already done. Um, 
Yeah, as I come back around, you'll see where I've worked and where I haven't. I didn't really get that toe very well, did I? Yeah. I don't know, I didn't get some of that smoothed out. Yeah, and some of this will get better as I add more coats, you know. Yeah, you see that spot right there? Uh, it needs, I think, to dry a bit before I add more paint to it because it doesn't want to take. So the the um, the existing paint, the little bit that I put on there, will help the the next coat stick a little better, you know. Like I said, some areas of the leather are really happy to take paint and others others aren't. You know, I think it just has to do with the grain of the leather, you know, in a particular area. It's like skin, you know. Well, it is skin. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, kind of. Kind of up to the leather as far as what's going to happen. Coming around the other side, I'm going to probably do, hopefully the other the side I just did while you're watching the video dries by the time I get back around, you know, and then I can keep going. You know, it tends to dry fairly quick, but it's not 100%. You know, it's still work with it and spread some, but um, I might have to stop. I don't want to get ahead of myself here and uh, kind of, you know, be stuck. tip of the board yeah this idea with this uh um thermal coffee cup was pretty handy it fits the boot shaft real nice and gives me uh, a little control of how to uh, spin it without having a uh, one of those deals that shape like a foot inside of it you know so I, i've still got a pedestal to work on and a surface to control and it's actually worked out pretty well yeah, you can see that boot's really starting to pink up, isn't it? It's pretty sweet. Uh, it should be shockingly pink by the time I'm done. Some of these areas. Some of these areas I'm going to go back through with the um, a finer brush and get some more uh, coverage with because, you know, it's just too... This brush I'm using right now, is, it's fairly small, but it's not near small enough for getting fine details taken care of. You know, it's, 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 it's too large for that. It's great for... Uh, broader coverage without being too big, you know, because you can get in there with a the brush that's too large and you'll regret it. So this gives me some control. And again, now I've got extra paint on here because of dipping in the thing. I'm just going to wipe it off with the paper towel now rather than rinse it again because I'm kind of moving along. Yeah. Looking good. There you go. Sometimes I can get some of that excess paint wiped off onto the boot from the paintbrush and just save myself a little extra hassle with the paper towel, you know, just do it that way. Use that stuff. I mean, it's a waste if I can't get it, you know, onto the boot. The whole point of it was to get to paint the boots. And that's, you know, something I want to make sure it gets done. I don't want to just have paint like all over the place. And if I can get that wiped off on the boot, that helps. I can actually use it. And it's not always possible. Sometimes you get going and uh, it's dried and you're kind of kind of stuck. I see these turn out pretty crazy looking with that paint. Of course, the blue uh, painter's tape kind of offsets it in a, in a cool way. You know, blue and pink like that. 
It's actually, I, I thought it was cool when I put it on there. That was kind of funny. But uh, I don't think I'd paint it that way unless someone asked me to or paid me to, I guess. Back in that tow area where I was having the coverage issue earlier, so now I'm going to see what happens here. You know, I probably, yeah, it's taking it now. I kind of like I said, the, uh, that one area of the tow didn't want to take the paint. And now that there's paint there, it's much happier. Like it's got feelings, you know. Try to blend some of this into the existing stitching and whatnot. I don't want to lose any of that, you know. So I'm going to stop here like in just a sec um, because I am back over the same area again and things are moving along much more quickly and uh, it's wet. So I don't want to just smear wet paint around. I want to make sure I am letting it dry a bit before I hit it with another coat. But I'll show you some of what's going on uh, in a sec. That's looking pretty good. I mean... You can still see brown, of course, because it's not done, but let's get that area right there. What's going on there? That's a very touchy, doesn't want to take kind of spot. There we go. Just run some of that like that. Yeah, we're going to have to let this dry to finish it, so I'm going to stop there for now. Um, this will be the end of the video, just uh, give you an idea of what's going on. Um, so that's a little little boot painting, a little different kind of project for me today. Um, I'm always willing to take on things, craft things and stuff. But uh, that's what I'm up to today, painting brown boots, brown boots uh, pink. So the other one I told you I'd show you, I haven't painted the fringe yet, but it turned out looking like this. You know, it's, it's pretty cool, It's but I think it's a little... Uh, needs a little bit something because you can still see there's a little darkness in it and the light it looks red in this light and it's not it's it's more of a hot pink um, but that should look cool when it's done I'm probably going to do something different with the fringe to be decided I guess um, but should be a sweet looking boot when we're done put it back in this box all right well thanks for watching uh, hopefully this is kind of different and fun, but, uh, usually I'm doing guitar stuff and other things like that. And, uh, I'll get back to it. I just, uh, been taking a break and, uh, doing some different things. And this was a little, little bit of a project I wanted to share. So hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, have a good day.